Okay, so um, I'm actually going to do a reaction between a fire sulfate on and an acid. Now, without getting too bogged down with the reaction details here, um, one of the products of this reaction is sulfur. So we'll actually see a yellow solid. It may not be very dark yellow because these are dilute solutions, but we'll get some sulfur produced and it will be suspended in our mixture. So it's not really a solution, it's a suspension. We learned about suspensions today. And I've actually, I have some beakers here that I'm going to use. And I put a, an X on the bottom. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to have Savannah time the time of mixing until the time I can't see my X anymore. And we're going to just see if concentration really does make a difference, okay? So I'm going to start out by looking at uh, the solution uh, concentration. It's just full strength, 0.02 molar, okay? And so I'm, I'm going to put in 50 milliliters of my sodium sulfate. So I'll just put that in a beaker. So I'll, I'll tell you when to start. Just make sure you, you can find the start button before I... Okay, so I'll, I'll let you know when to start and then whenever this stops. Um, but, you know, before I add the other reactant, the HCl, um, just want you to notice that the solution itself is clear. You can see through it. You know, if I take a laser pointer and shine, it shines right through it, so you can see it up here on the screen. All right, so we'll see the difference first when the reaction proceeds. So I'm going to add some HCl to this. So I'm just going to add about five milliliters of this. And these reagents kind of stink, so I'm going to put the lids on. And so the reaction itself will probably have a smell. One of the products is sulfur dioxide, I believe, so as I recall. All right, so I'm gonna, when, as soon as I pour this in here, go ahead and just start, start the timer. When I say stop, stop it. And that'll be at the point where I can't see the X anymore. Okay, all right, so you ready? Go. So hopefully it works. Just mix a little bit. Let it stand there, and you can see it's starting to get cloudy. Right. It's getting pretty dark. Okay, you can stop. Actually, I probably went a little too far, but um, it, it just went like that. Now, looking. Uh oh. Let's see any light getting through. Now, what we're seeing, the yellowish stuff in here, is sulfur, solid yellow sulfur and it's a, it's a suspension. If I let this sit long enough the sulfur will settle to the bottom and I could filter it you know I could filter it and I could remove the sulfur if I want. Okay that was full strength. Um, I'm, I'm gonna do a kind of a diluted solution. I'm gonna write of course uh, about how many seconds was that? 17 seconds. All right, now we're going to do a diluted mixture and see how that affects the rate. I'm not going to actually do three because we're not going to have time. So I'm going to see which one. I use this one. So this time I'm going to put 25 milliliters. of my thiosulfate, it's sodium thiosulfate solution. And then to that I'm going to add 25 milliliters of distilled water. So again, you know, we basically just cut 
the solution concentration in half. We had started with 0.2 molar. If I cut it in half, what should be the molarity of thiosulfate in this solution? Well, it's half of 0.2, 0.1, right? Okay. All right, so it's 0.1 molar. All right, and all right, so you got the timer reset, and we'll see what happens. So I'm going to add another five milliliters of HCl. All right, all right. So again, of course, looking to start, you've, you've got, of course, the light passes through very easily. And all right, are you ready? All right, let's go. <laughs> Just watching it here. Starting a little bit. How long, how much time are we at right now? Yes, yeah, so we're already past the time. I can still see the X. I can still see the Okay, it's gone. So if you look straight down, that, that's really what you have to do to see the X disappear. And this looks too. So we can't see any light through it any longer. Um, it's, you can tell that, that it's uh, a little more dilute. What was our final time? 36. 36, okay. All right, so. All right, so really it took almost twice the time, you can see, for a solution that was half of the concentration we started, okay? So that, that worked out pretty good. So, um, I mean, obviously this was done pretty qualitatively, but you can imagine, you know, you could actually, you know, measure, you know, the amount of products that were produced. Thank you, Sam. Over time, and you could, you know, get your reaction rate. Uh, we could get an average rate. You know, if we looked at our concentration of our solution and divided by our change in time for each one of these, and obviously, which reaction went faster? First one. Even the, yeah. the more concentrated.